today's 3D Systems Gibbs Cam Tech Tip, we're going to have a look at three very powerful but simple tools to help us program turning operations using solid models. There are going to be saved processes, the use of profiler, and replacing a model. We import a model into our session. And what we're going to talk about first is the profiler. There are four separate profiler styles, depending upon the operation type you're doing, whether it be milling or turning. Turning, you want to use the slice spun body. When we use that, we get a geometrical cross section of the part that is associated to the model in your work area. To use it, I will load a process for roughing the OD of this part. I set my markers, my machining markers, the same as I would as if I was using geometry. You can clearly see we're not wasting any time. We're only cutting where the previous tool was told not to go and not wasting any time. Now I'll load the final process to finish the OD of this part complete. I set my markers as I would with geometry and complete the operation. You can see I now have a final contour on the OD of the part. If we watch the machine simulation, you can see what we've done. I like to use the tool color mode so I can differentiate between the tool operations themselves. But now what comes into play is I have a family of parts that I want to reassociate the tool path with a model. In order to do so, I will body bag the part and import a different model. Once our model is in place and aligned properly, I'm going to use the Model Associativity plugin. Now remember that you can customize your icons and screen and your work area for what you use on a regular basis. So what we're going to do through the Model Associativity is replace the first solid with the second solid. So our first solid that we have toolpath already assigned to is up on our body bag. Select our second model to replace it. Redo modified ops is turned on. And I say do it. You can clearly see that the tool path is being redone to the model in the work area. If I go to my machine simulation, you can see we have a finished part ready for post-processing. So instead of having the tool path associated with specific geometry, we are now associated with the profiler, which is going to be associated with the part model in use. So if you have any other questions about this or any other subject matter for Gibbs Cam Programming, please contact your local reseller. I'm sure they'll be happy to help. Thanks and have a great day.